Yeah, go didn't, ahead. I didn't go over too much. I guess uh, mostly my questions were whether or not the company was still getting much um, pushback from the you know, short and distort scheme last year, and the response was that it really wasn't taking much of their time anymore. It's just an ongoing lawsuit that'll probably drag out for years. Um, you know, my impression. So, other than that, I I don't think there's much to it. It's you know just a slowly growing silver producer with low costs. It's pretty simple. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, they didn't have good. Inf they didn't have a lot of information on the new acquisition in terms of timing or or, or the implication of it, right? But I mean, the plan is not to be the plan is not to be slowly growing, right? I mean, if they can get some of these other projects into well, I, production, I shouldn't say slowly growing, but I mean, you know, maybe ten to twenty percent, you know, per year. Right, which is which is which would for any company, if you had that kind of, you know, <laughs> I got to grow. A, but there's you know, there's a difference, you know, s you know, First Majestic is, you know, basically looking to double production with Del Toro. Um, and some other expansions. Right. So. Yeah, no. They, I mean, look. The thing with the, the thing with Silver Corp, it's that that basically the the main value is in the Ying Mine, and nothing else really that they have or probably will find. I mean, if they get lucky, they get another one. But you know, that's a unique asset. That's like Gold Corp, and I mean, that's the whole reason they call themselves Silver Corp because they felt like what Gold Corp has at at, uh, at Red Lake that kind of forms the the heart of the whole company and what started it out is what the Ying district is doing for them. You know, Gold Corp hasn't, doesn't, hasn't found another, I mean, it's got some other things going on, but arguably it hasn't found anything as good, uh, you know, as, 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 uh, as their Campbell and Red Lake camp. So, uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's not, you know, the company can't be valuable, it can't grow other assets, it's just that they have that to fall back on, so that is a constant money generator that can other things can go wrong and they can still make money overall. So that's a, that's a pretty you know to have one you know really high quality asset that 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 that, that anchors everything else it is something that I think most people would, would kill for. So, um, but yeah, it's not like it's. I think Del Toro is you know potentially if if if, if everything Chris Majestic is saying. Is a very very strong world class, uh, you know, thing that could easily justify first world well, close to justifying first majestic's valuation, or bill, you know, could be worth a billion dollars on its own if it becomes as big as, you know, as 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 the ultimate plans might be for it. Um, I mean, maybe maybe some maybe a uh, uh, silver corp has something like that in, in an earlier stage, but I still think like silver corp is mostly hey you got Yang. That's that's a that's a, an anchor, so, you know. Keep making money, and then they are adding other mines that will increase production. But nothing, you know, is going to be as compelling as that as that one mine. That doesn't mean that the valuation can't be supported by by the other operations. I mean, is that a fair distinction? You think that way? Saying it that way? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, let's go. Sure. I, I, that doesn't mean you know. But we're certainly interested in if they have another major project because that would then be upside easily from that. I mean, the current share price is, is, is pretty darn low for what they have. I mean, their PE is probably going to be what, well, depending on where metal prices, I guess, go, but it's probably got to be around 10, you know? Right, probably 10. So the world stock going 10 or 20%, PEs are going to be at least 15, 20, 25, 30. And silver stocks typically have a premium in the market, so... It's, I mean, it's like everything else, pretty darn beat down. Okay. 